Before the brain injury, I was very active, uh, very involved with lots of different organisations. Ran a choir, did uh, sort of lots of quiz nights and uh, did gigs and, and lots and lots of things. Hockey, uh, I can't actually remember that much about it. It's, it's life so different now that you, you forget what it was like before sometimes. Um, I drove down from Dundee one night, it was a Sunday, and that night just in bed, uh, I had an aneurysm that burst. I had lost consciousness, had a seizure, and luckily my partner was, was, was amazing and knew right away that there was something very seriously wrong. In the early days of the recovery, when you go through something like a brain injury, you, you don't think you would ever be able to do anything that you've ever done before because you do feel so ill at times and you do, you know, that first time I tried to walk the dogs, I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't even get from my house to the beach, which is, I don't know, 100 yards, I couldn't do it. Now uh, it's been four and a half years uh, since the, uh, the brain hemorrhage and now I still have a lot of problems with uh, headaches, uh, sort of constant pain, I'm on painkillers every day. It's probably quite difficult to describe the, the sort of battle for recovery if you like. The fight, for me, it just has to be done, so you just have to get on with life and you just have to do your things that you need to do. It was really difficult uh, in the early days and I probably forced myself back to work too quickly in hindsight. It's just exhaustion the entire time and fatigue the entire time. And I mean, I was falling asleep at work at 11 o'clock in the morning and waking up at five o'clock. <laughs> Each day, just it, it's one day at a time. It's very, very hard to look forward, um, to, to plan things forward. And I've had to set out a definite system where, so I don't forget things essentially. So I have a diary and it's, it's all been logged out. I've got a big whiteboard in my room that everything gets written on because if I don't write it down, it just, it, I'll forget it. So memory is definitely one thing that, although has improved, is still uh, an issue, uh, sort of short term memory. I just don't have the energy to be the old Fiona. And I think the new Fiona has, I don't want to be too cliche, but probably a different outlook in life. And actually only recently my partner and I have had a similar discussion of where do we go from here because there are still issues. However, life has returned to some level of normality that it was before. Um, so, I'd, I mean, I've just actually put my hand on and say, actually, so that, you know, life's too short. So I'm going to try and do what I did before. If it floors me for two days, it floors me for two days. I'm going to get up and recover from that.